Hi there, it's Sine with a quick unscripted video. Today I wanted to take a look at showing you how to install and use Skype. Now for those of you who are not aware of it, Skype is an instant messaging client. Skype is also a voice over internet client. So if you have a headset, you can make a phone call uh, to someone else in your list. Now, for example, I have a lot of clients that are in Australia, the UK, Brazil, Portugal. Um, if I had to call these people or they had to call me, our phone bills would be enormous. So by using Skype to Skype calls, I'm able to speak with him and it doesn't cost me anything. So now that we understand what Skype is, let's go take a look at where to get that. I'm going to use Firefox, my favorite browser, to go load Skype. Now the address is www.skype.com. That is spelled S-K-Y-P-E. Um, and it's fairly straightforward. You are going to need a free Skype account. Um, so you are going to want to click on the Join button. Um, after you've joined, you're going to need to go and download Skype. Now, you can choose any Skype name you want, but it is going to check to make sure that someone else hasn't used that exact name. Uh, that's why you'll find an awful lot of um, Sine 2983-44 or something like that. Um, so find a unique name that will help people find you. Now, with free calls and video, which is what you've got, uh, or, or what we want to install, you can speak to anyone who has a Skype account. So let's go now to Get Skype, and this will present our uh, download option. So right here on your computer, Get Skype for Windows. Of course, you're going to want to save this uh, to your computer. So choose which type of Skype you want, and then click Download Now. Uh, once it's begun downloading, or actually when it begins, you're going to want to choose where it needs to be saved. So I'm going to choose Save File. And I'm going to choose a place for that to go on my computer that I can get back to later. Once it has finished download, I can navigate using Windows Explorer to that location, give that a short little double click, and start it running. So Skype setup, double click, and off it goes. Now I already have Skype, so I'm not going to install it a, a second time, obviously. But once it completes, and, and it's really easy to follow along, just follow the prompts. Once it completes um, and starts, you'll, you'll be presented with a list of contacts, and there will be only one in that list. I believe it's the Echo Sound Test Service. This is what allows you to set up and test your microphone if you're planning to use uh, voice over internet protocols or, or voice to voice, Skype to Skype calling. Um, to begin finding people, you can, of course, start typing their name here. Like, if you're looking for me, you can type Sine. Okay, so instead, let's search for my Skype name, which is Sine Naylor. Uh, again, it found it, so that's... Okay, let's, let's try somebody who's not in here. Uh, Larry Lounge. Luge, okay. Um, he's not here. He's not in my list, so I can click Search Directory, and it's going to go Search Skype. Now, Add a Contact dialog is something that you can use to go find your friends and family. Um, if you already know their Skype address, you can add it automatically by going to Contacts, New Contact, and typing in the address you know it to be. Uh, once you've done that, save the phone or save the contact into your list, and that's it, you're done. Now, Skype is fairly easy to use. If I want to speak to somebody who shows a green or yellow icon, I simply double-click that, and it opens up not just um, today's conversation, but I, I could also specify anything yesterday, the last seven days, or the last 30 days. Um, if I were to type here, he'd, he'd instantly see this on his computer. If I wanted to speak to him, I could click Call. Now, as a matter of courtesy, we should IM him first to make sure he's there. So anyway, this is a short, unscripted video. I hope you understand now the value of Skype. I use it all the time. Um, I, I speak to people 
and uh, particularly my blogging or my coaching clients allow them to send me um, messages in between sessions this is a quick and easy way for me to receive their information and then answer them at my leisure uh, instant messaging is one of the hottest things on the internet now it's kind of like texting for your phone but it's uh, for your computer uh, so if you haven't tried it I'd recommend it it gives you an immediate uh, return if I if somebody's online and I ask them a question and they see that question I, I get an immediate answer it's I find it a lot faster than email. So, okay. I was all over the map. I hope I, I didn't confuse you. Skype is great. Go get it. Download it. Install it. And uh, if you're doing this because you and I are getting ready to do something, a, a blog installation or online coaching, then do a search for Sine Nailer, no spaces, as a contact. And then put your name uh, and a message into that box that comes up and ask me to add you to my contacts so that I can see your online status. Until then, this is Sine signing off.